Hey, Chris Chinock in the uh, ESO booth at uh, uh, NAB 2014, uh, where they introduced uh, several new uh, color accurate monitors. This is one of the uh, strengths of and, and, and focuses of the company. Uh, they uh, have very color accurate monitors is, is their part of their business. Uh, and so they're ser serving colorists in the film production in industry. Uh, graphic artists are another uh, customer set. Uh, they'll also talk perhaps to people in the uh, in the fashion industry, anyone who's in, or, or uh, uh, pre-press industry, anyone who needs a color accurate monitor, the, this is a, a, a potential for this uh, company. Uh, so what they have here, and, and actually part of what they do is they have a little, they, they first they, they do factory calibration of the color before uh, the monitor ever ships, and then they actually have a little uh, sensor that pops up uh, on the from the bezel of the monitor that can do calibration um, once it's sold to the customer. Uh, and that's kind of interesting because that can be actually controlled automatically so you can schedule this thing to run you know, once a week or once a month as ever, however you need it uh, in the evenings and the things always stays in, uh, in calibration, which is kind of cool. Uh, now, um, what they're showing here is, is some prototypes of, uh, of two new 4K monitors. Uh, one is a 24-inch uh, a monitor, uh, which is this one over here, and the other one is a 31-inch monitor. Uh, again, for, uh, 4K or UHD resolution. Uh, now, the the 24-inch, um, uh, both of them uh, have about 100% of the uh, Rec. 709 gamut. Uh, both have 99% of the uh, Adobe RGB, uh, and both are actually very close to the P3 gamut. Uh, the 31-inch is the closest at 99%, and the 24-inch has 93% uh, of the of that gamut. Um, uh, they, uh, they have HDMI or uh, DisplayPort inputs, uh, but these, again, these are not broadcast monitors, so they don't have waveform and, and SDI uh, inputs, uh, although you can have a box to convert SDI to, uh, to go to into, the, uh, into the monitor if needed. Uh, over on the other side of the booth, they also updated a couple of uh, other monitors. Uh, one was, uh, went from CCFL backlight to, uh, to an LED backlight. Um, but that's pretty much the story. These, uh, I don't, they didn't tell me exactly when these uh, 4K monitors, color accurate monitors will be available, but I would imagine uh, uh, sometime this year. That's Chris Chinock for Display Central.